Hey everyone, welcome to Aquaponic Gardens. Here are some of um, the barramundi we're selling for aquarium fish. A bit difficult with the reflection in the glass and the lighting. Um, the aquarium fish we sell range from about 15 centimeters up to 40 centimeters. Got a couple of 50 centimeters if somebody's really got a big enough aquarium. As you can see here, the Actually, quite placid. Keep telling them to feeding time. I'm showing you another picture in a, um, another video. The lighting this morning is just not very good. It's like one in the morning or something. Everything's going well. These are um, I've been using these for mother plants for my. Um, this is uh, Kilimanjaro basil, basil, and this is the normal you know gonna eat. Gonna be so. This is a um, Coca Cola plant. Uh, so, it's gonna focus. This is Coca Cola Duftstrauch. It's like a soup additive, like a herb spice. It's so strong, we don't really eat it, but it smells really strong for Coca Cola. Here are some um, cuttings we made from the mother plant, like from the Kumanjaro basil. Things have only been done a few days ago. I've got plenty of roots on them. I was done uh, dead for yesterday. Something about aquaponic water just makes them um, root very, very quickly. You see there, look, beautiful white roots. They're yeah, basically ready to come out and go into um, the outside system. Here we're using our special LEDs that developed in Hong Kong. There's um, some majority basil, some parsnips, some radish, um, bok choy, some, uh, what do you call it in English, uh, kale. Yeah, doing well. This is just for the tilapia breeders. Uh, actually, it's for the babies now. The breeders are going into my office. I've seen that video before in my system before in my other videos. So what is new? So it's really as dark in here this morning. Over here, what it looks like in the night time. So, shelves have all been completed, built, um, just installed all the lights a few about a week ago. Here's an half ago. These are the new series of lights. As you can see, but there's the deep red, far red, um, ultraviolet, um, three different. Um, spectrums of blue, some green, they are really, um, I see the performance are much better. They're full spectrum LEDs, and we're still in trials with them, but I'm very, very happy with them. Here we're doing mi mostly micro greens. And then here, they've already been cut away, we cut them at the moment just in small, for small orders. Um, here we got some uh, retic uh, radish. And Cressa, beetroot, um, dill, basil, is all basil. Looking very good. Some salad starting here. Been a lot of interns doing my seeding lately and uh, been really busy with the fish. These are more cuttings we've been have had done in the aquaponic system and the other room I just showed you. More basil over there is getting bigger. These were just put up this morning. Um, I'll just take it to the next before we seed the plants. Um, I'll show you what they look like. These are the, the all yellow due to the fact that we've only seen light for the last 20 seconds or so. I need to put them on here before I start the video. So, four minutes, 30 minutes, about uh, five minutes ago. And when we see the trays, see these also just got taken off. Um, so it's a bit dark. Is we see the trays and then we put a lid on top of them. It's just the tray turned upside down basically. It gives a little bit of airflow, but um, keeps the seeds in the dark until they get to about this level. Um, I think they go to the other shelf. Sorry, until they get. Um, 
The head, the head of the plane pops out. And they just turn, like they just start to turn up, upright. You take the lids off, put them under the lights, and they go green within hours. Um, they went quicker than hours. Like they go in about half an hour, they start to turn green. And after about five, six hours, then we got some um, beautiful uh, green microgreens. Um, they grow for about another. Depends on the plant, between five to seven days. You got a couple of varieties to go through in about nine days, ten days, and then we're ready for the market. Um, got a couple of restaurants that are asking for them. Monday morning, uh, we've got the radio coming by, uh, not the radio, coming by one of the local papers is coming by, got an article getting written up in a few papers, um, hopefully on the television in the next few weeks. Yeah, lots of things happening. I'll do the update on some oxygen bottles in a few hours. Uh, we're turning off the... In my system, concentrators up here don't really work. But that's going to be in my next video in just a few hours. Show you uh, some of the big barramundi we took out. Not big. A 900 gram barramundi we took out a few hours ago. Yeah, there's oxygen bottles. I'll show you that later. Um, Sort of over all the fish from the quarantine into the big system now. Uh, holding about 50,000 fish in the big system here. And new fish will fly in on the 20th of January. Stay tuned. Um, I'll do an update just in a few hours. It's a bit dark at the moment. But, um, yeah. Keep watching. And just to say, I'm sorry about... I'm not doing updates soon enough. It's been a very crazy Christmas and New Year's. And, yeah, it's pretty difficult when you're doing such a huge project basically alone. Um, I'm talking with a few people here, a couple of few people are helping me out. The one does, my business partner does marketing and um, bookkeeping. And then my intern, my practicant, uh, what do you call him? Intern. He's learning, you know, I'm going to basically baby, not babysit him, he's getting very, he's a very good worker, he's getting much better. Uh, but, you know what I mean, we've just got to watch what's going on in the farm. And it's not just my farm, I build farms for other people. Um, so I'm keeping up an eye on everyone's helping them out on their farms, keeping an eye on their farms. You guys, I'll be back soon. Stay tuned and uh, let me know if you want me to give a bit more information on some of these videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.